This is the Minte Harmony range. I'm going to show you how I did the watercolour effect on the background using wet on wet, a few different colours and some stenciling as well. I started off using some masking tape to make some stripes on the background. I've just done the whole side of one page. I didn't really know what I was going to do to start with, but it just seemed like a good idea at the time. Then using just some plain water, I just wet in between each of the bits of masking tape, thoroughly wet the area so that I can drop the rest of the colour into it. So I start off by making up two colours that match with the Minte Harmony papers. One was a blue and this is the first colour I pop in. I'm literally just dropping in bits of, of watercolour to it and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to drop in some of the gold as well. I've already fussy cut all of my elements from the Minte range so what I'm going to do now is I just thought I needed a few extra little bricks to go around by the door so I'm just going to cut out some bricks from one of the sheets of paper to put onto the page as well. I'm just going to distress the edges as well and then once the paint has dried I reveal the image. Now I'm just going to work out where I want my um, texture paste to go. I'm using a brick stencil, I'll drop it in below which one it is and I'm going to use some white ranger texture paste just to fill in the rest of that size and give it a little bit more um, texture. So now I'm just going to start building the page, working out where all my elements to go, um, sticking it all down flat and popping on my photo as well. Some pieces I'm going to pop dot so they're a little bit higher using foam, foam dots just to raise them up a little bit and create some dimension. And I'm going to flick some gold little flicks of paint in some areas as well, just to add to it. It's a metallic paint, which is really lovely. This is where you can spot the spelling mistake. You probably could have spotted it earlier as well. Um, after I'd done my page, I had to take my title off and change around the I and the E, but never mind. I'm just going to pop on some sequins as well. They've just scattered a few in different places using some glue and then finally I'm going to get a pen and just go around some edges and outline some pieces just to put a little bit of definition on it. It's a very fine pen as well, about a 0.3 just to add some definition. 